Hello everybody. Design and analysis of algorithms. So let us discuss about deterministic algorithms as well as non-deterministic algorithms. What do you mean by deterministic algorithms here? The algorithm in which every operation is uniquely defined is called as deterministic algorithm. So whatever the algorithms we have written so far, something like linear search, binary search, bubble sort, selection sort, merge sort, quick sort, BFS, DFS, all are deterministic algorithms where the program will execute, where whatever each and every line what we have written is uniquely defined. For any input, it will produce the same output. Whereas, what do you mean by non-deterministic algorithm? The algorithm in which the operations are not uniquely defined but they are limited to specific set of possibilities for every operation. They are called as non-deterministic algorithms. Let me go with an example. Okay. So here the picture will show the deterministic algorithm will lead to either uniquely defined operation, whereas non-deterministic algorithm we cannot predict what may be the output because it is not uniquely defined. Now, if we go with the functionalities of the non-deterministic algorithm, the non-deterministic algorithm will have three functionalities, choice, failure and success. What do you mean by choice? Randomly, we will select one of the item from the set, randomly. If that set is wrong, then that is called as failure. It indicates unsuccessful operation. If the selection is correct, then it indicates it is a successful completion. So we select randomly using choice. The choice will indicate either failure or success. These are the three functionalities of non-deterministic algorithm. Right. So what are the, let me go with the example here. Uh, we have already gone through searching mechanism in linear search where the time complexity is warp and binary search is log n where they are deterministic algorithms. Let us write an algorithm which is non-deterministic for searching. Okay, let me go with the three functionalities, choice, failure and success. So we select one index from the array using choice function. The choice will give you the index where you want to compare your key. The key is x here. So the choice will give you the index that index data will be compared with key value, x value. If the comparison is successful, it will lead to success operation. If the comparison is unsuccessful, then it will lead to failure operation. If at all this non-deterministic algorithm is successful, the time complexity is O of 1. But the choice may success or may not success. It is not uniquely defined. So it is a non-deterministic searching algorithm. Okay. So where the time complexity is O of 1. Now, what are the differences between deterministic as well as non-deterministic algorithms? What are the basic differences if you observe? The basic differences are the definition, as we know, uniquely defined, not uniquely defined. And uh, let me go with the differences. So, you know, uniquely defined, not uniquely defined, single outcome, multiple outcomes. Okay. Produces same output, produces different outputs. It has a unique value, it has a different values. The deterministic algorithm will be solved in polynomial time complexity, non-deterministic algorithm will be solved in non-polynomial time complexity, and not in a polynomial. The algorithm where the result is uniquely termed as deterministic algorithm, where here it is non-deterministic algorithm. Okay, so the differences can be categorized into five. The definition, execution time, type, execution path and output. So in this picture, we are clearly saying what are the basic differences, right? Right. So these are the basic differences where you can see. Are we clear? Next. Now, if you go through the, yeah, usually the problems are two types, polynomial and non-polynomial. P is a subset of NP and then initially all the problems comes under non-polynomial actually, but whatever the problems we got as solutions in polynomial, 
they are called as polynomial whereas the problems which are not got a solution are called as non polynomial solutions right okay next so the problems can be categorized into two polynomial type complexity problems non polynomial class under polynomial anyway all the problems what we are going through till now are polynomial all the programs which we have executed in the labs are comes under polynomial whereas under non polynomial class we have np complete and np hard problems okay so in the next video we'll discuss about very clearly what is np complete and np hard right in this venn diagram we are clearly demonstrating p is a subset of np and some normal non polynomial problems may have solution if we try much better but some problems which don't have a solution are called as np hard so in detail we'll have a next question discussion about what is np np complete and np hard if you look at the difficulty levels of the problems p is easy level np is medium level whereas np complete is hard and np hard is hardest okay so that we are visualizing the complexity levels of the problems p np np complete and np hard okay so that is about what do you mean by deterministic and non deterministic algorithm and the differences in the next video we'll come with np hard and np complete and other topics thank you so much see you in the next session thank you